guys welcome back to my channel so let's just talk about the elephant in the room I have not been posting videos as I say I am um, I have been going through a lot um, pretty much I've been getting some serious anxiety um, not just anxiety, but like some panic attacks recently. Um, I, I don't even know where to freaking start this video. Um, I have just been going through a lot and not alone even. Uh, my boyfriend and I are both going through a lot. Not with our relationship or anything. We're perfectly fine. Um, but just in life in general, life is kind of punching us all in the face right now. Um, we're in that awkward stage anyone has if you're over the age of... 30 you know exactly what I'm talking about I am in we are in the awkward stage of having your life completely together and set and not um, I am 24 years old I did go to college and get a degree for medical assisting working in the medical field and I just am not cutting it financially I am not cutting it financially whatsoever um, and that's a problem because I have goals, I have ambitions, I have things that I need to do, I want to move out, I want to do all this stuff. So it's been very hard just living with rules and regulations of other people. Um, and same with Gonzalo, you know, we each have our own struggles that we're kind of dealing with right now. Um, uh, him too. Um, he did graduate from college as well uh, with a degree in electronics technology um, and everything like that. But um, unfortunately, our mindsets and our paths to success that we thought we had previously have now changed. Um, and it has um, absolutely nothing to do with money. I am not cutting it financially, obviously, but my mood and everything has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with um, being able to afford anything because I do afford myself. I can take care of myself um, right now. So the problem is uh, happiness. And, you know, I am a medical assistant. I do work in the medical field. That comes with a lot of baggage, comes with a lot of problems, a lot of other people's problems. Um, not that I don't care, because I do care, and I do want to help. However, it is taking a toll on me, because it can get pretty depressing. Um, uh, so, I have just kind of put YouTube on the back burner, because I haven't been, for like the past two weeks, I haven't been so dedicated i guess you could say because i do want to be dedicated as you guys know makeup is my thing here on youtube and so is my hair um so i did want to become a cosmetologist at one point um i didn't fall through with it because of um the money situation at, the, at that time my head wasn't in the right place to decide whether i wanted to be happy and make a little less or be unhappy but make a little more and at the time you know I didn't have a car I had gotten in a car accident my car totaled everything like that so I had a decision to you know get a little bit more money get a car because there's things that you need there's sometimes you have to put your happiness over the things that you need in life which is a car food a phone uh things like that so that's what I did and I'm a medical assistant now and I don't regret it however I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. And when I'm not happy and I get up and I go to work, it's just not me. Did you ever walk into something and say, why am I doing this? This is not who I am. This is not what I want to do. I don't know why you're doing this. Well, because of that, my motivation to do YouTube has completely sunk, which is something that is extremely surprising because why would you give up something that you love to do um, because of how you're feeling about the thing that you don't want to do? Wouldn't you think that you wanted to do what you wanted to do more than the thing you don't want to do? If that makes any sense. But 
but all motives of motivation has just sunk. Um, we've both been pretty depressed. Him a little bit more than I, a lot more than I actually. But um, I have, we've always watched um, motivational videos on YouTube, motivational speakers, things like that, because the only way you're going to get out of a bad situation that you're in is to move towards the situation that you want. You cannot just sit around and not do it anymore. You can't, you can't just wallow in it. You can't just say, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Even though you don't want to, you're never going to want to. You are never, ever, ever going to want to because it takes a lot of hard work. And I learned so much um, from watching those motivational videos in the past. And now I am starting to read a new book um, that I got from a video. Um, her name is Mel Robbins and she created and wrote this book. She has YouTube videos um, and I think she did a TED talk if I'm not mistaken. Um, but this book is called The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. Transform your life, work, and confidence with everyday courage. This is what it looks like. I got it on Amazon for $14.99, I believe, I think, but I got it on Cyber Monday and the original price I think is $24. So what she genuinely means about the five second rule is that as humans, we all get ideas in our head to do something productive, to do something good, to do something that benefits us completely. And our, what she says is that our minds are designed to protect us. And by doing that, they protect us by thinking and overthinking. Now, if you choose to get up in the morning at five o'clock because you have work, then that's what you choose and you have to do it, correct? Well, you go to bed at night and the alarm goes off for five o'clock and you have two options. You can get up, get ready, and go to work and feel good about it. Or you can hit snooze and sleep a little bit longer. That also feels maybe even better than getting up and going. But the toll that it takes on you, you could be late. You could oversleep and be very late. You could sleep all day and your boss tries to call you and you don't answer the phone and you could potentially get fired. There's just so many other things that go into that. But once you get up at five o'clock in the morning and you sit up and you have to turn off the alarm and you know you have to get up, there's no other choice. Even though you want to choose the wrong choice that you don't really have by sleeping in, we're supposed to just count down from five because you have five seconds until your mind talks you out of doing what you're supposed to do or what you should do, like getting up. It's five o'clock in the morning, you hear your alarm go off and you say, I don't wanna get up. Your mind says, I'm not ready to get up, I'm too tired. But in the back of your mind, you wanna get up, you wanna get ready, you wanna look good for the day, you wanna go have a good healthy breakfast and get up and go and be productive because that makes you feel great but so does sleeping. So when you get up and you hear that alarm and you say, okay, we're gonna count out from five, five, four, three, two, one, turn it off, get up and go get in the shower to get ready for your day. Because if you go past five, your mind is gonna say, what's 10 more minutes? What's five more minutes? What's two more minutes? And it's just gonna, it's a domino effect. It's just gonna say, Nah, we don't have to. Nah, we don't have to. We don't have to. Don't have to. Five more minutes is nothing. Just stay. Don't do it. Or if you really want to start working out and you're not happy about your weight, which is another problem I'm having right now because I've been depressed. Food is my vice right now. Food has always been my vice. I've never, I'm not a drug user. I'm not a smoker. I'm not a drinker. Um, I'm a drinker socially, but that's like never. I'm not social either. That's just another problem. But, um, so you want to work out and you know how to work out because working out is simple. What do you have to do? Jog around the block? Okay. It's simple. It is very, very simple, but it's very, very difficult to tell your mind to go and do it because it's not enjoyable. 
but the end result is what you're looking for. So your mind is saying, yeah, let's work out. I want to get fit. I want to do this. I want to do that. But then your mind says tomorrow, just do it tomorrow. Do it tomorrow. We all know you won't do it tomorrow. So tell yourself no in that five seconds where you get the idea to start working out, drop what you're doing and go work out. It takes 21 days to do something to form habit, 21 days. So if you do that for 21 days straight, you'll form a habit and you'll just do it every, every, every single day. And within this book, she talks about so much. I haven't read the whole thing so far. Um, I'm only in the very beginning, um, but she is extremely relatable on problems and um, depression and anxiety and um, just talking yourself out of things to protect yourself. Um, but you're really not protecting yourself. You're just keeping yourself in a bubble, really. So that's where I'm at. Um, I'm getting through it. I'm back. I have filmed so many videos that are going to go up and I'm back. I'm not going to stop because YouTube is what I want to do. So I'm here and I'm so happy to be here and I'm going to stay here for the rest of my life. And I'm just going to keep going no matter what. So the five second rule by Mel Robbins, if you're having any troubles with um, doing things or getting yourself going on your goals, this is a great book. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the videos for this week. There will be five of them Monday through Friday, just like always and how it used to be. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you throughout the week. Bye.